Instead of spending his military leave relaxing at home, Staubach dodged linemen at Cowboys training camp. He was like secretariat. He had unbelievable quickness. He had unbelievable change of direction. That's what made Roger great. He would feel you coming and he would just spin out. Like he had eyes in the back of his head. Taking that. At Navy, the freewheeling Staubach was encouraged to improvise. In Dallas, there was a system, a system under the total control of head coach Tom Landry. The old school coach cast his lot with the unpredictable quarterback, the escape artist, Roger the Dodger. On third downs, I used to stand next to Coach Landry because I held for extra points and field goals. And Roger would drop back and he'd start to run and Coach Landry would go, no, no, Roger, no. And then he'd go, 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 Roger. did not fit his ideal of the perfect quarterback because I did run quite a bit, but he also saw that I would figure out how to win. Starback looks like he might take off. Got away from one. Got away twice. Roger, you are something else. Behind Staubach, the Cowboys reeled off nine straight wins and rolled into the Super Bowl. The man deemed to have been the most valuable player in today's game, Roger Staubach. And what a story that is. Staubach became the first player to win both the Heisman Trophy and Super Bowl MVP. Roger Staubach sets him up as Pearson moves to his back. Pearson. Going to the bundle. Got Pearson across the middle. He might get in. Touchdown, Drew Pearson. The Cowboys take the lead. 29-yard touchdown pass from Roger Staubach to Drew Pearson. Back, I watch the fake. See where Lambert number 58 goes. Lambert drops back. He's still undecided. And I'll tell you, Drew Pearson coming under. He's not only a gutsy receiver, he's dynamite when you have to catch it. Look at this. Like there was definitely pass interference on Blunt, but, but it doesn't make any difference. It's still, you don't see it. Let's go back and look at Warren deep. Oh, what a catch! And he dropped it. It is a touchdown. Look at this one. The ball is thrown beyond Butch Johnson. A big rush by Denver up the middle. Watch this catch. He only has to have possession over the goal line. He's got it. A beauty. He got it. He rolled over the numbers. That ranks right up there with the ones that Lynn Swan made two years ago. What an effort by a super athlete. In fact, two of them. Replace the three. They have the fleet wide receivers in again. It's the shotgun on third and nine. And a big rush is on. He lets it go. Tony Hill to 20. He's in. Touchdown, Tony Hill. Okay, Kurt. That was a blitz. 
blitz. They've been burned twice on blitzes. That was no exception. Strawback was the hero on both occasions. You see Tony Hill on Donnie Shell. He's all alone with him all over the field. Strawback threw the ball before Tony Hill even made his break. He was forced to. They communicated perfectly, and the score is almost tied. One kick will do it. And this pass comes as time ran out in the first period. He can really tightrope that sideline, Tony Hill, a second-year player. He came so fast that they traded Golden Richards on to the Bears to make way for Hill, who's going to be a, a great pro star. And Mel Blunt, who is deeper than uh, Tony Hill, had his back to the quarterback, playing man-to-man, -man, corralling his receiver, never did. Well, set has 99 yards. Flipper out to Dupree, Dupree, touchdown. Billy Joe Dupree scores, and the Cowboys come right back. And you have to say what a tremendous team they are, not to quit. Down as far as they were, the easy thing maybe just to say, hey, it's over, we can go home. Well, but it's I'm... still 227 on the clock, and you can bet an onside kick is rolling down the field shortly from now. They don't, they don't quit because I don't think there's any quit in either one of those teams. Okay, Roger gets a little, we used to call it a pick play, where you try to get the secondary people man to man, you try to pick one of them off with your other receiver. Third down and a yard to go. The pass, touchdown! That is Brooks Johnson. Dallas comes back with two touchdowns. They still have time for another onside kick. Well, Cody, <laughs> Cody, you were right. Now listen, it's been a long afternoon, but this man's just as game as they come. He gets a shot late after he throws the ball to Butch Johnson, who comes up with it with the game. At least he's kept them with an opportunity to win. I mentioned earlier, these babies are not over. When you're playing with great people in every position, just a quick break can turn something loose. 22 seconds. I've seen a lot of things happen in 22 seconds. We're kind of fooling around and got our rear ends beat. First down, Dallas. A fake reverse. Stop back, back, lays it up. It should be easy. Yeah. Tony Dorsett. <laughs> that was slick, man. That one really had him all the way. He put Skip Vanderbunt on Dorset, man for man. No content. No content. That's what you call all over once you get it in. Roger knew it as soon as he looked up and saw 52. The linebacker trying to cover Dorset. It's a good fake that time by seconds left. He is going to throw. Drew Pearson. He got it. Touchdown. I didn't know they had it for a while. Got the ball back. I don't believe it. He just threw the ball over the scoreboard. I don't believe it. The ball was thrown short and the defender was not watching and Pearson came back to make the catch for it. Boy, boy, what a play that was. What a ball game, huh? So the Dallas Cowboys move in to the championship game of the NFC. Strawback is deep. Here come the Redskins. Drew Pearson. Got it. He beat Gerard Williams. Strawback read the blitz and just threw it up in the air. Look at it from the end zone, Patrick. Here it is from the shotgun. And I mean Redskins sent everybody. A quick throw, and he did a hanging job with it. And the young defensive back never got a chance to play the ball at all. And Pearson is really nifty. He's from another century, maybe the 24th. Two, Drew Pearson in motion, number 88. Starback, play action fake. Looking for Tony Hill, he's wide open. That's down. Six points, Tony oh. Hill. Oh, boy. Sprinting past the zone, touchdown Dallas, third play of the ball game. Oh, Roger, Roger, Roger. One of the things you can always make this go if you run two good runs right before him and set it up, had time to throw. Had a little motion move by Pearson. You saw Hill come. Three, second down, 10, trailing by six points from the shotgun. Staubach has time, throws, caught, Weston Dixon, inside the 10 to the 8. You gotta love them. I mean, you gotta love the Cowboys. They're the most exciting team in the NFL. They can pull it out. 42 seconds left in the game. Redskins lead by 6. How do you, how do you live like this? How can you live?
live like this doing this every oh, week. This is what it's all about. This is a killer. Second down and eight from the eight yard line. No shotgun this time. Staubach throwing in the end zone. Tony Hill, touchdown, Tony Hill. The Cowboys have won the East. The Cowboys have come from behind twice, unbelievably. Just another day at the office, Brad. Yeah, just, you know. Perfectly read the coverage and went right to the receiver who had one-on-one -on -one coverage. This miraculous victory was the culmination of the extraordinary NFL career of Roger Staubach. His refusal to accept defeat and his will to surmount all obstacles was this man's football legacy. That was probably Roger Staubach's greatest game, and he played many great games for us. You know, looking back on this one, I, I think history certainly would prove that it was one of the best games ever played.